What's going on, Lord of the Rings fans? And welcome back to another episode of Middle Earth Mondays. Every Monday on my channel, we go over anything and everything Middle Earth, from Lord of the Rings to The Hobbit. And today, we're going to go ahead and rank my favorite trilogy of all time, the Lord of the Rings movies. Ranking these movies is kind of like ranking your kids. I don't have kids, but I hear you're not supposed to rank them. So ranking these movies really breaks my heart, putting one over the other. But before we give you guys my three, make sure to comment down below your ranking and how does this trilogy compare to some of your other favorite trilogies. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Right at number three and in last place, it breaks my heart to put it there but it's lord of the rings the two towers and i want to start off by saying this this movie's absolute perfection everything about it just works so well for me but if i'm comparing it to the other two lord of the rings this is the one i probably re-watched the least i do have to give credit where credit's due the Battle of Helm's Deep is the best battle of the amongst the trilogy, and that's what really carries this movie along. This movie's definitely a little bit slower than the other two, but so much more happens. So many more characters get involved. Sauron has more of a spotlight in this movie, getting his uruk ready and trying to take down Rohan, and Sauron has Wormtongue in them. They're poisoning the mind of Thaed and King, the King of Rohan, and this movie, as I said, the Battle of Helm's Deep is so captivating, and it's the best, but... The only thing that kind of takes it down a little bit for me is when the epic battle's going on, it goes over to the Ents and Merry and Pippin while they're all talking. Then it goes back to the battle. It kind of does a flip-flop back to that. Sometimes you kind of just want to enjoy the battle. And Peter Jackson is so good at making great battle scenes. So you really, really want to just enjoy the Helm's Eve. That's my only real problem with this movie. But this takes place very well right off the foot of the Fellowship of the Ring. We introduced more to Gollum in this movie. He's only introduced basically with one line in the Fellowship of the Ring. So when he gets introduced in basically another spotlight in this film it is so awesome to see he has very very quotable lines and Andy Serkis just portrays this guy so well and the bond of Frodo and Sam becomes even stronger and the fellowship even though they lost Boromir in the first movie everyone's still strong Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli are going after Merry and Pippin and Gandalf returns as Gandalf the White so many epic things happen in this movie it's hard to put it in third place but this is the Lord of the Rings movie I rewatched the least, but as I said, it is dang near a perfect movie. My runner-up is going to be Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. The best way you can start off a trilogy or any franchise, honestly, ever. How they kind of introduce the first 15 minutes with Galadriel, who's played by Kate Blanchett. She's voicing over kind of everything in the history of everyone and the power of the rings and who's who. And... She kind of introduces all that in the first 15 minutes, which I thought was brilliant. Then we get to go meet the Shire, Frodo Baggins, Bilbo Baggins, Gandalf the Grey. We get to meet all these awesome characters. And when you get Frodo, Sam, Merry and Pippin together at the Shire, that's probably my favorite part about the Fellowship. We get to enjoy the big birthday party for Bilbo, his 111th birthday. We get to enjoy that with Merry Pippin and Frodo and Sam. And Gandalf's there, and he's kind of like the main spotlight. Everyone's like, oh my god, Gandalf, Gandalf's here. He's such a he's such like a hero to all of them. Shire is such a cool atmosphere. But then also we get introduced to the Nazgul after they're after Frodo he gets the ring from Bilbo who which we, we end up finding out that he actually found in the Hobbit movies or in the Hobbit books and then the Nazgul are coming after them because Bilbo put the ring on and that's what senses the Nazgul to come that way then Gandalf tells him you guys got to get out of here Frodo take the ring and that's what kind of really starts our fellowship also we get introduced to amazing characters like Aragorn, Legolas, Gimli, Boromir I can go on with the list of names and they get the fellowship and the Battle of the Mines of Moria is absolutely awesome but then also the end battle with Lurtz and Ur Kai chasing him down. Lurtz takes out Boromir. Lurtz puts up a fight with Aragorn. He also packs a really emotional punch. First, when Gandalf dies, fly, you fools. And the Balrog takes him down. That is very emotional. Obviously, he does come back as Gandalf the White. But also, when Frodo tries to go to Mordor alone, it shows how committed Sam is to him. That whole scene at the end is one of my favorite The Lord of the Rings trilogy. When Sam doesn't even know how to swim, Frodo's in the middle of a lake, and Sam just starts swimming out to him like, you're not going to Mordor alone. I'm coming with you. Everyone needs a Samwise Gamgee in their life. He's my personal favorite Lord of the Rings character. So that right there also is kind of an emotional gut punch. And of course, the score for this movie is my favorite score for any movie of all time. This whole trilogy, the score is it is absolutely perfect. I love The Fellowship of the Rings so much. But with that said, where it leads us into our number one, which is obviously The Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Now, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. Actually, the, these three are in my top ten favorite movies of all time, but The Return of the King is in my top three. I love this movie with my whole heart. This is The Lord of the Rings movie I rewatch the most. I cannot wait to rewatch it every time I'm done talking about it. Talk about a conclusion done right. And it is a little over three hours, but they did not waste one second throughout this film. We get introduced to even more characters, and we get introduced to so many other storylines. And basically, everyone has the perfect conclusion. Legolas, Gimli, and Aragorn are together. They're more with Rohan now. And Gandalf's there with Pippin. He goes to Minas Terra to warn them that, hey, Mordor is coming. They're not coming to play around. And Frodo, Sam, and Gollum are really ending their journey towards Mount Doom to put the ring in the fire. And it's a three-hour movie with so many kind of twists and turns to really 
scrapped together nicely and they did it perfectly. This movie won 11 Oscars. It's holding the record for the most Oscar wins. I believe it's tied with two other movies. But this film does everything you want it to do. It's everything that you want a conclusion to be. It's epic. It's emotional. And it kind of really just punches you in the stomach. But also, the epicness of these battles is so crazy. And, the, and all the battles in this movie are amazing to watch. And also, the original song that Pippin sings for Denethor, who's Baromir's father, when Faramir is running with his army. And they all just, it's a very emotional and really well shot scene. But also, the Battle of Minas Tirith is one of the best of the whole trilogy. It is a fantastic, epic battle. But also, the Battle of the Black Gates is more emotional than it is epic just because Frodo and Sam are about to put the ring in the Mount Doom and then you got all the rest of the fellowship fighting at the Black Gates keeping the eye fixed on them so that Frodo and Sam can put the fire they can do the deed and then takes it all the way back to where it began at the Shire this is one of my favorite movies of all time I love talking about these movies so much and therefore The Return of the King is my favorite Lord of the Rings movie make sure to comment down below your guys ranking of these three movies how do you guys like them do you love them as much as I do if you guys are still watching please consider subscribing I am very close to 500 subscribers it will mean the world if you guys could help me get there. And if you guys love movie related content and geeky content and also Lord of the Rings content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button because I got content posted like this on a weekly basis. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do me a favor and go watch a movie and I'll see you guys next time.